Hey everybody, Rose Matter here, and welcome to my new Let's Play series that I'm very excited about. Uh, it's one I've been promising to do for a while. Finally playing Fate Stay Night. Uh, so I have watched the anime, and apparently I did it in the wrong order. You should apparently play the visual novel first and then watch the anime, but I did it the opposite. But I really enjoyed that anime, and I liked the characters and the world. So I'm really excited to get back into it. It's been a while. Um, so, I am playing the Ultimate Edition, and if you are interested in trying it out for yourself, I will have a link to where you can download it in the description down below. Um, there is a lot of options uh, for this patch, so I'll show you which ones I do have. So I have the Mixed Textual Content, uh, so it's... It's not completely the original one, uh, but it's also not completely censored either. Um, so this was one that I looked online, apparently this is a pretty good one. Um, censoring, we're going to censor the H content for YouTube at least. Uh, for those of you who would like to see the fully uncensored H content, I'm going to have that up on my Patreon so you guys can check it out there if you're interested. I'll have a link to my Patreon in the description as, as well. I'm not censoring the mature content. Um, that was recommended, is uh, keep the mature content. And uh, we have um, a lot of like the Vita versions of things, so hopefully that is all good. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, let's get into this game. I'm super excited, hopefully you guys are too, for me to finally play Fate Stay Night. Okay, well, we're jumping right into this, are we? Okay, it was a thrust like lightning. A spearhead thrust to pierce my heart. Trying to dodge it would be useless. Being lightning, it's invisible to the human eye. But the lightning that tries to pierce me is repelled by the moonlight that tries to save me. Clang, a beautiful sound. No, the sound before me is heavier than steel. The armor she's wearing is not beautiful at all. It is as unrefined as the cold night. The sound wasn't beautiful at all. It was actually the sound of steel. It's just the night is beautiful enough to turn it into a charming sound like a bell. It's a saber. There she is. She asks in a voice that lights up the darkness. Yes, the contract has been completed. When she chose me as her master, I'm sure I swore to help her too. The moonlight still lights up the darkness. As if following the night's example, the shed again falls silent. Time has stopped. The scene lasts less than a second, but I'll remember this scene vividly even when I've gone to hell. The face slightly turned, the quiet green eyes, the instant becomes an eternity, the blue outfit symbolizing her sways in the wind. A faint blue light filters in, the golden hair shines in the moonlight. Okay, so this is a new version of the games. Um, it's been a while since I've watched the um, since though I've watched the show, but she definitely has a different master than last time. So the games are beginning again. This is a story from ten years ago. I'm watching someone I know very well, a tall man with a deep featured face who, to my knowledge, has never told a joke, is patting my head. No, that's not quite right. I guess he doesn't know how much strength to use, so to be more accurate, he's grabbing my head and mashing it around. I guess that's only to be expected. After all, it's the first time he's ever patted my head. And that? Uh, I know in this one, uh, the daughter is grown up from Fate Zero. Uh, Rin, I believe, and I thought she was a cool character, so I'm like, happy to see her in this, you know, grown up and, like, getting to explore her character a little bit more. I answer the deep voice. I remember Rin's name, but I do not remember... I don't... I remember Saber. I remember Rin for some reason. <laughs> I think that's... that's about it. 
Uh, oh, Gilgamesh. Uh, I remember him. And then there was... Oh, God. What were the other uh, servants' names? This is terrible. Um, there was the really big dude I liked. He was really funny. Um, and then there was, like, the really handsome guy. Um... With the, with the long stick. There was Saber, and then there was, um... Oh my gosh, this is terrible. So, I don't remember much about it. The man patting my head nods once. Let's go and stands up. So, that was it. If I'd known then that it was our final moment together, I would have made him laugh with my best jokes. Because this is her dad, right? Her dad was very serious. I had practiced telling jokes a lot and hope I could bring a smile to his gray face. I guess you could say I was sad. I couldn't tell him any of them. Even though he said such things, I guess he was still worried. He told me about the heirloom jewels, the jewels inherited from the master, and how to manage the basement. As he was telling me all the things I didn't yet know, I realized, even as a child, that's most likely he wouldn't be coming back. A war had started. Not a war between countries, but a war between people. But the only ones at war were seven people. In a situation like this, the word war should be unsuitable. But here it's a different story. Oh, uh, Waver. I remember Waver. That was the young uh, student who had um, the big dude. Because his name was kind of interesting. Like, he had a different name than I've heard before. <laughs> Uh, you'll just hear me randomly, just like, I will suddenly remember, oh, Ryder, right? That was, that was the big guy, was, at least that was his, uh, kind of his code name was Ryder, I believe. Um, so yeah, I will, I apologize, I'm going to be saying that, like, I'm just going to have memories, probably, of, like, remembering characters or whatnot, and I'm just going to blurt them out. <laughs> in a situation like this, the word war should be unsuitable, but here it's a different story as the ones in conflict are magi. And of course, Castor. I mean, hard to forget Castor. The seven magi, each from a different faction, had started to compete for unknown reasons and killed each other in unknown ways. The man standing before me was one of them. I guess this is maybe why they recommend, like, reading the story first, is because, like, the anime is going to spoil some stuff for you. He too was in a position to kill or be killed. He must have known more keenly than I did that his time was near. Lin. I remember with, with her dad, he was kind of one of the more forgettable characters to me. Um, so I, I struggled with his name the most, remembering it. Once more, he patted my head and left. That was the end. That was the last time I saw the man who entered the Holy Grail War as a master and died. The man who was my teacher, as well as my father. And then the priest, he was the one who ended up, like, he betrayed this guy, her dad, and then ended up, like, taking care of her. Right? I think that's what I remember happening. I see him off politely. I knew I was on the verge of crying, but I shed no tears. I loved him. He was a great father and a great ma- Is it Magus or Magus? I guess Magus because it's Magi, right? Among Magi, there are only obstinate people. In the whole world, I don't think anyone had a better character than his. He taught me as a teacher and loved me as a father. That's why I decided to choose my path according to what he left me in the end. Lin. In the end, he left me those words as a magus and not as a father. That is why, at that moment, my path was determined. It's only natural for a student to follow the words of their teacher. Since then, through many twists and turns, I, Tosaka Rin, have matured. It has been ten years since the winter day on which my father went to war. I haven't exactly been waiting for this moment, but I am excited. That's only natural. The event I've never forgotten about is about to start.
All right, so we got the new Holy Grail War. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be any other reoccurring characters. If, like, people who participated in the Holy Grail War, I mean, a lot of them are dead, uh, but if they can participate again. Oh, I remember. I remember the, the guy, uh, the handsome dude. His name was Lancer. Now, the servants, I don't remember, like... I, I usually just remember them by kind of like what they are, like Rider, Lancer, Saber, kind of like what they're, almost like their code names, but their actual names, I don't really remember. Like, I remember Gilgamesh. Uh, I think his is one of the only ones that, uh, and then again, uh, she's Joan, right? She's uh, Joan of Arc. Something is ringing. Bring, bring. The sound doesn't stop. It rings loudly as if I'm an enemy. It should let me sleep in a bit longer. No, it has to let me sleep in. I was deciphering my father's will until early this morning, and I've used up too, ma too much magical energy. In other words, my mind and body are dead tired. <sighs> Bring, 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 bring. The alarm clock doesn't speak my language. So why does the ringing sound like it's telling me you're going to be late? No, that depends on the situation. I'm a good student, but maybe I can get to school at the last moment, just for today. I'm sure we've all fallen to that before. It's like, I can surely, I can surely just get a couple more minutes sleep and I won't totally sleep in through my other alarm and end up being late. Huh? Isn't that strange? I look at the alarm clock drowsily. The clock is pointing exactly at 7. I usually get up at 6.30, so the spare 30 min minutes have already been used up. Oh, why can't I think when I wake up? I stare at the alarm clock for several seconds. Shutting it off, I decide to get out of bed. Passing through the cold hallway, I enter the cold living room. It's seven o'clock on the last day of January. Uh, Fuyuki, Fuyuki City is usually pretty warm in the winter, but this morning it's as cold as any other city. I can even see my breath indoors, and on top of that, there's no one else in the house to warm it up. Dumbo, Dumbo. I wonder. So that's uh, so Saber showed up for that guy at the beginning that we don't know yet. So I wonder who her uh, servant will be. Turning on the heater, I head to the bathroom. At times like this, living on your own is inconvenient. If there were someone to wake up before me, the living room would be warm by now. I wash my face at the sink. I brush my long hair and get ready. I also wonder too if it's, I assume it's the same servants every time. Because the thing is like, unlike the human characters where we did have certain characters die in the anime, um, the servants like, they're already dead at that point. They're just being summoned. So I assume it's going to be, we get to see the same ones again. So that makes me excited. Because I mean, if we have Saber again, then I'm assuming we're going to have all the other same servants. Uh, so I am excited because like, this is something that I do like about having watched the anime previously. It's like, I know the characters already, so I am excited to see them again. A cold morning, a cold sink. The only advantage is the cold water clears your sleepiness completely. I tie my ribbon and I'm all ready. All I have to do is eat breakfast and head out. Looking at the clock, it's only a bit past seven and I'm a bit disappointed. What? Then again, I would never do anything as clumsy as running to school anyway. It's the custom of the Tosaka family to act with composure and elegance at all times. Taking a custom like that seriously must mean that my family originated from a very high class background indeed. Owning this old western style mansion is proof of that, and on top of that, the Tosaka family is a bloodline of sorcerers able to use the power of magic. If you're talking about age, our family has an ancient history. <laughs> Actually, I can't speak openly about it at all. Oh, by the way, I, Tosaka Rin, am a magus, 
Who on earth can I brag to like that? Magic is just what it sounds like. Magic. I don't care if you get ideas like abracadabra or whatever. You can just think of us as people who do strange things by casting spells. Though it's not like we fly around on brooms or make stars appear with a wave of a wand. Well, we could do that, but we don't bother as it's kind of meaningless. We're basically heretics who hide ourselves from the world. We're prohibited from standing out, and even if we weren't, we would rather be at home studying magic. On top of that, the word sorcerer is completely inaccurate. To be precise, there are only five sorcerers in the world. Things no one can do, things beyond the ability of modern science. The ones who can make such miracles are the ones we call sorcerers. Miracles that can never be achieved, regardless of time or effort, those we call sorcery. Those things that are mysterious but achievable with time and effort, those we call magic. That's why what I do is called magic rather than sorcery. It's complicated, but that's how it is, so just accept it. To be honest, the modern world doesn't recognize the existence of magi. As we believe, control, and learn things that are immeasurable, our existence is incompatible with the modern world. Because it's kind of meaningless. Going to a normal school and becoming a normal adult will bring you much, uh, far more happiness than studying magic. Human technology is great. In the past few hundred years, it's been leading the way ahead of magic. Nothing is impossible for humans. The miracles once only possible through magic are now tools and not miraculous at all. Still, magic has its good points. Just as there are things possible only through science, there are also things possible only through magic. It was the master of the Tosaka family who said that if science is moving toward the future, magic is moving toward the past. Something about the past and the future ending up at the same place. Everything always running toward the zero point. Let's put off all these difficult discussions. They should wait until we're old. Finishing breakfast, I grab my bag. I don't really want to take the thing to school, but it'd be a waste just to leave it here. No, that's an understatement. It's much stronger than that. I found this after decoding Father's will last night. It contains the equivalent of ten years of my magical energy. There was said to be an heirloom, and this might as well be it. We, the Magi of Tosaka, are skilled at the transformation of power. We put our magical energy into jewels whenever we have free time. To put it simply, the jewels are bullets and we are the gun. The one thing I can say I received from my father, or the only other thing I can say I received from my father, is the magic crest of the Tosaka family engraved on my left arm. In essence, this is proof of the successor, and it's like a tattoo that condenses all the inherited magic of the Tosaka family. <laughs> And of course, the fact she's carrying it means that she will definitely need that. I put the pendant, which can now be said to be my father's memento, into my pocket. It's 7.30. I should get going or I'll be late for school. I weave my words with magical energy quickly. Being a mag- magus. I'm gonna look that up. I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> and I feel like I'm gonna be saying that word a lot, so I feel like I should get it right. Okay, yeah, I was saying it very wrong. It's magus, apparently. So, uh, apologies to those of you guys who are probably screaming at the screen every time I pronounce it. So it's magi and magus. <laughs> I love English. Being a magus, I can't let my guard down when leaving my house, even though there's never been a single robber, wandering child, nor stray cat. And I don't think my neighbor has ever come to say hello either. I look up at the mansion I've grown so accustomed to over the years. Fuyuki is certainly a strange city with many, uh, with many western-styled houses on this side of town, and an area full of Japanese-styled houses just beyond the intersection. I guess it's because many foreign families came to live here a long time ago, but even so, I don't see many foreigners around here now. There's a foreigner's cemetery in the new city across the river, but it only has the graves of the first generation of families. I'll go to the church and ask the priest sometime. He knows about lots of boring things. What? Stepping outside, I feel a certain incongruity. 
Something's about to happen here. Just like I said, it's oh, she's got the pendant. She's like, well, I probably don't need it because the games aren't starting yet, but I'll take it with me just in case. It's especially quiet with no sense of the morning's noisiness. At 7.30, the street should be filled with students going to school and people going to work. Perhaps everyone slept in today. It's unusually cold, so I bet everybody's still wrapped up in their warm beds. It's strange I haven't seen even one student so far. At 7.30, you can usually see people in uniform here and there. But I'm the only person at the school gates, and it looks like the clubs are just starting their morning practice. In other words, the only explanation is... Oh, I've been pronouncing her last name wrong, too. It's Tosaka, not Tosaka. Tosaka. Even having watched the anime, it has been at least a year. Um, so my pronunciation is uh, of the of the names are gonna it's gonna take some time just like every time I start a new visual novel with a small sigh I turned to the girl who addressed me Ohio this girl speaking so frankly is Mits uh, Mitsuzuri oh gosh Mitsuzuri Ayako she's my classmate in class 2a and there are a lot of stories about her Ohio Mitsuzuri san she waves her hand in front of me, wondering if I'm alright. She's one of the few friends who knows I'm not a morning person. In other words, she thinks I'm not fully awake yet. Not Really, just what is going on here? Did father arrange for all the clocks to go mad when the pendant was removed from the basement? どうさか。気にしないで。別に大したことじゃないから。それより、ミツジリさんは今日も朝練。ああ、球道部は問題児も多いし、うまいのは一人減ったからね。4月の新入生獲得のために少しぐらいは見栄えを良くしとかないと。気苦労が絶えないのね、相変わらず。他人事だからって言ってくれるわ。あ、ついでだから見ていく。登坂が見学する分には男どもも喜ぶけど。給湯部。I have three acquaintances in the archery club. One is Ayako, the person before me right now. The other two are people I barely talk to. And for one of those two, the word acquaintance doesn't really suffice. I became friends with Ayako because I'd been watching the archery club from afar. I've always been interested in archery. Like, if they, if they had had an archery club in my school, I probably would have tried to take it up. And then, like, I... I Years ago, like, what, the kind of, like, late aughts, early 2010s, there was, like, a weird archery boom. There was, like, you know, uh, the Hunger Games, there was, like, Brave, and that kind of just made me interested in archery all over again. At some point, that's on my bucket list, is, like, I want to try and learn archery. I'd probably be terrible at it because my hand-eye coordination is awful, but I'd like to give it a try. Okay, let's go. The impressive archery range is one of our school's outstanding aspects. Perhaps the director is just interested in archery, but the range is much too fancy for a mere school uh, school club. Happy about something, Ayako drags me in by the hand. It's a bad habit of hers. She talks like a guy when she's expressing her true feelings. As Ayako said, there's no one in here. While sipping hot tea, we prepare for today's class. The tea tastes really good in this open winter environment. So, as there's no one else around, Ayako comes straight out and asks, asks me a ridiculous question. I feel like it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be a, a while until we get to the actual 
Holy Grail War, um, because I know this is quite a long visual novel. They have to set the characters up first, I understand. <sighs> ノーコメント。are they talking about romantic partners or partners for like a project, something with school? Or is it partner like Holy Grail Wars? Is she is she part of that? I I would have a hard time believing that like someone she just happens to go to school with is also uh like you know a participant. So とりあえず取り繕うことはできるけど、ことがことでしょ。この先の命運がかかってるんだから、妥協するわけにもいかないし。うん。勝手に決めて、私に負けるのもいや。Maybe. I feel like this could be either a school matter or this could be to do with the holy war. もちろん。私にとって重要なのはあんたを任すことだもの。and then she's saying what I get, because you if you win, then you get like a wish granted. She laughs boldly. Yes, she did indeed. I was certainly surprised when at our first meeting she said, we'll probably end up with a kill or be killed relationship. Hopefully not literally. Or in other words, unless we go all out against each other, we'll never really be friends. I agreed with her on that, and that's why we've had a friend or foe relationship for two years. Okay, <laughs> they are talking about that. I wonder if the game intentionally did that as to kind of like fake us out into, or maybe I just read too much into it, because like it very much sounded like it could have been something much more serious. ええ、今時子供でも買わさない約束だけど、あんたと私に限って、法上ギアが悪いってことはないでしょ。どんな結果になろうと、負けた方は大人しく勝者に従うことになる。それを思うと、私は今から楽しみで楽しみで。It's funny because I just came off of playing more Higurashi, and this is very much giving me club, uh, the club member vibes. Ayako laughs. Honestly, she's so serious about this. Mitsuzuri Ayako is such a difficult person to deal with. Though I can't wait to beat Ayako either, so neither of us are people you want to deal with. So, but Mitsuzuri-san, I think it's a lot of fun, but you don't have to worry about your goals. The rest of the game is not just the end of the game. I understand. It's faster than the end of the game. Ayako sighs heavily. To my knowledge, Mitsuzuro Ayako is said to hate men. Rumors are never to be trusted, however. As she suggested this match, rather than hating men, I think she just didn't have a chance. But that aside. ちょっと。私たちって何よ、私たちって。断っておきますけど、私はそっちと違って冷血感じゃありません。男の子を好きになるなんて問題でも何でもないわ。ああ、それ嘘。もしくは気づいていないだけ。当坂が男を気にかけ
なのに断り続けるってことはあんたは男に興味がないってことよ発想が貧困ねその場合すでに好きな相手がいるから断ってるって話もありじゃないうわすっごい美だいいねそういうのロマンだな Aiko nods seriously, not making fun of me. Her sigh says, Wouldn't it be nice if that were the case? Jeez, I really can't keep anything from her. So, ne? But I'm so sorry. Well, it's exactly as she says. I know myself how cold I am. I'm so sorry. 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 もうじき7時か秘密の話はこの辺にしとこういつ人がやってくるかわからないし朝になったら学生らしく振る舞わないとなまあ三つ釣さんにもそういう世間体があったなんて意外だわええこれだけでも早起きした甲斐があったみたいふん<笑>あんたほど筋金入ってないけどね私の世間体なんて遠坂凛に比べたら灯籠の斧ってもんよあんたの猫かぶりは擬態っていうより別人格のレベルよ別人格アイゴ gives an exaggerated sigh both of the tea she made are now empty it's my turn to make it で遠坂はどうして部活に入らないのよ運動神経がないなんてされ事は聞かないからね私は去年の体力測定でことごとくあんたに負けたのまだ恨んでるんだからあら肺骨量では三つ鶴さんに負けたわよ私<笑> That feels like a little bit of a slight slam 三つ鶴さんのが上だったけど<笑>やったー重さで3キロ上回ったって体重で勝っても嬉しくないってのよこのタヌキアイコスラムズオンザテーブル危ないお茶がこぼれるでしょ三つ鶴さん首相なんだから道場は大事になさいうるさい私は首相である前に遠坂のライバルだ部員がいなけりゃあんたに食ってかかるのは当然よアイコ looks at me with narrowed eyes this girl has her own sense of beauty she always says beautiful people have to do some kind of martial arts She's a bold person experienced in most martial arts. She joined the archery club with no experience and is now the captain as if it were only natural. She's probably one of the top three people in the school you should never disobey, regardless of gender. Oh, no. If you don't have a boss, you don't have a boss. It's not a boss. It's not a boss. I'm 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 a boss. 私以上にしゃがりっぱなやつがいるんだから師匠としての面目なんてないわそうなの藤村先生三つ鶴さんは飛び抜けてうまいって言ってたけどあ,あの人がそう言うならそりゃ少しは自信が持てるけどまあいなくなっちまったやつのことなんて考えても仕方ないかそうね藤村先生がそう言ってくれたんなら真面目に首相をやんないとまずいかそうそう噂をすれば影そろそろ部員がやってくる頃でしょ私はおいとまするけど三つ鶴さんはきちんと首相になりなさい何見ていかないのしゃ見てもわからないもの遠くから眺める分にはいいけどね不心得者が道場にいるわけにはいかないでしょ Just as I rise, someone enters the range. Oh, hi, 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 oh, ああまた後でね、遠坂お疲れ様です、遠坂先輩ありがとう、さくらもしっかりねやあ、遠坂、おはよう
朝から君に会えるなんてついてるな。Bad luck. I run into someone I don't want to see. I'm guessing that's the one where she said, like, an acquaintance that I, you know, can barely call an acquaintance. おはようマトくん。今日は早いのね。当たり前だろ。首相なんだから。Oh, so he thinks he's the captain. 早めに来ないと一年に示しがつかないじゃないか。This smiling guy is Mato Shinji of Class 2C. He's the vice captain of the archery club and owner of the hearts of half the girls in the school. Kind of an idol, good looking, good grades, sociable, and kind to girls. I'm not too well informed in such areas, so I've only heard all this from my classmates. そうご機嫌なところ悪いんだけど一文字抜けてるわマトウ君大事な字だから忘れない方がいいと思うけどうん一文字抜けてるって何がさ幸福の福字は違うけど響きは一緒でしょ副首相さん気をつけなさい別に首相も副首相も変わらないけど変に意識するとこだわってるみたいに聞こえるでしょそうだね今後は気をつけるありがとう父さかお礼を言われるようなことはしてないけどまあマトくんがそう思ったのなら私には関係ないか Bidding him goodbye, I leave the range. ちょっと待てよ見学に来たんだろなら見ていけばいいじゃないか遠さかなら大歓迎だよ遠慮するわ練習の邪魔をしたくないものそんなの構わないよ他の連中が気に触るんなら締め出すからさちょっと寄っていけって her, like だから邪魔をする気はないって言ってるでしょそれに私別に弓道に興味があるわけじゃないから知らないやつの試合を見ても嬉しくないわ No snap, just straight up, I don't know. <laughs> as, if, as if she's saying, like, you are barely, you're, you're nobody to me. Hmm? I don't know what he thinks the reason was, but he's undoubtedly making a big misunderstanding. <laughs> 知ってたのマトくんああよく目があったんだぜ僕と父さか車を終えてさ斬新の時に限って父さかは僕を見ていたろ声を返したかったけど一応決まりでね車上では声を上げちゃいけないんだ As if happy about something, Shinji moves in closer to me. His smile carries a sense of superiority. I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to cut him off there. Oh, I see now. Yes, the conversation could certainly have been taken that way. I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 あきれたここまで行ってもわからないのね趣味じゃないけど仕方ないか簡単にあなたにも理解できるように言ってあげるいい今とくん私は弓道に興味がない以上にあなたに興味はないって言ってるのよ実際あなたが車上にいたなんて今初めて知ったぐらいだしきっとこれからも目に入らないわ<笑>なんだと As if I've angered him, he reaches out for me violently. Well, well. I easily avoid it and turn my back on him. So it's one of those, like, he's very surface level, charismatic and stuff, and he seems kind, but, like, as soon as someone doesn't think that, like, the sun shines out of his ass, you see his true self. So, then, Matok. I wonder if he's gonna go for her and she's gonna use some martial arts on him. He sounds like he wants to say more, but it doesn't seem like he's going to scream or come after me. Jeez, he really is all show. If he was just a little bit more mature, he wouldn't be so much trouble for the people around him. From the back of the school where the archery range is based, I enter the school building. 
It's past seven, but I can't see anyone in the hallway. The strange woman seems to be crying of happiness. It's hard to believe, but this person of surpassing friendliness and cheerfulness is a teacher at the school. うん、あるわよ。1年生はちゃんと挨拶してくれるんだけどね。上級生になってくると私の名字で挨拶しないんだから。遠坂さんはああいうやからの真似しちゃダメだからね。はあ。よくわかりませんけど、先生に失礼な
And this is just for Rin. Like, I assume we're gonna have maybe, like, I don't know if we're just following Rin. Maybe we have, like, multiple paths. I don't know much about the game at all. Uh, so, there was the guy at the beginning with Saber, so I don't know if, like, we're gonna have multiple, like, we're gonna control Rin as well as other characters. But man, this is just introduction just on Rin's side with a lot of people. Ah, ああ、次は昇格士だ。前から調子が悪かったそうなんだが、この度ついに天寿を全うされた。天寿全うしてたら直せないだろ。買い直した方が早いぞ。そうなんだが、一応見てくれると助かる。俺から見れば臨終だが
それに遠坂と同席してみなさい男どもの視線がうざいのなんの前の休みだってさ2人で遊びに行ったのにあいつだけ得しちゃってさやだよね美人を鼻にかけた優等生はマキダラ speaks without thinking as the girl surrounds s e g u r a s a n s desk はい、そう、おまがし、なすぐら。はい、さいごささん。Ugh, some of these names I'm really having trouble with. In contrast to her nasty mouth, she's a Japanese beauty who looks wonderful in a kimono. マキノジ、君の陰口は遠坂城に聞こえているようだな。In contrast to Makadera's loudness, Himuro is the cool, steady type. あ、やべ、遠坂に聞かれた。ゲゲ、めっちゃ睨んでるじゃん、あいつ。<laughs> Be funny if Tosaka s a was like, Rin was like, Yeah, I am actually. She weighs her chopsticks puffing at her cheeks. Knowledge that this girl's hobby is collecting wind chimes just shows that the world is far too complex. Anyways, it's not good for Saigosa san to keep、uh, watching this. She's panicking, seeing Makidera continually talking bad about me. マキデラ hides behind the lid of her lunchbox. Saying goodbye to the three of them, I leave the classroom. I shut the door behind me, and then. Makidera's words, her ones no girl should ever speak. Oh. <laughs> She's crossed the line now. Is she really a girl? Are all sweets the same to her? Perhaps she just has very convenient taste buds that can't tell a 500 yen crepe from an 80 yen taiyaki, but. Taiyaki? Taiyaki. Why, you? I could have saved 420 yen if I just bought you taiyaki to be. Taiyaki! Taiyaki to begin with. You're all serious about her sweets. I guess I'm still tired from last night. The cafeteria would be too much effort, so I'll just get a drink and some bread and eat on the roof. I buy lunch and head for the empty rooftop. It's a convenient location as no student would come near it in the wintertime. It's too cold to eat, but that's a small price to pay for being able to eat without worrying about other people. <laughs> I start on my tomato sandwich and hot lemon drink because she's by herself. I'm just waiting. I'm like, is this where she's going to meet? Whoever her servant will be, I want it to, I want it to start. I want to know who she gets. It's a simple lunch, but the taste is much improved in this peace and quiet. <sighs> I finish my sandwich and my hot lemon drink. I'm a bit tired. It's a difficult balance being a good student while trying not to be too social. It's my vanity. No, my conviction that I must be number one both academically and physically. If I'm to be a student, I want to be the best. And it's unthinkable for me to dishonor the Tosaka name. Tosaka. Tosaka name. So that's why I'm a perfect student, flawless in all aspects. But at the same time, I also have a dangerous job as a magus. Magus? I've already forgotten how to say it, no! <laughs> I gotta look it up again, damn it. Normally, any magus whose identity is discovered has no choice but to eliminate the witness. I don't want to do that, so inevitably, my social life has become a shallow one. I only hang out with Makadera on weekends, and I try to refuse invitations from friendly, pe friendly people like Saikosa san. Even though I'm the best honor student in the school, I live trying not to become too important to anyone. Though sometimes when I'm tired like this, it makes me think that this life is rather boring. I finish my hot lemon drink and stand up. I should stop drowning in sentimentality and go back to being the usual Tosaka Rin once I go down the stairs. Damn it, I guess not. Ah, I was thinking maybe. Home room or Shurio Sur Nichokua Nishito Tojimari no Kakunin O Bukatsdo no Nai Setoa, Sumiaka Nikitak Surioni. 
He's kind of scary looking. I don't know why. Bad vibes. Two A's homeroom teacher exits after repeating his usual line. As far as I know, this line hasn't changed all year. <笑>やっぱりそうか。<笑> あれはあれでいい精神鍛錬になるよ。さ、よかった。じゃあこの梅合わせはまた今度。はいはい。これに懲りずまた寄っていってちょうだい。It's interesting that Rin doesn't want to stand out too much or like be too social with people and yet she agreed to that whole competition with her friend about getting a boyfriend. And it seems like they genuinely want to try and have someone that they actually like and not just like, you know, a superficial just have a boyfriend to say you have a boyfriend. So I feel like she'd be kind of putting somebody at risk, especially if you get close to somebody romantically. I head straight home. Once I leave school, Hosaka Rin is no longer a student. The rest of the day is not for myself as a student. Instead, I must become a magus of the Tosaka family. Back at my house, I'm greeted by the blinking light on my answering machine. I already know what he's going to say, but he'll be scary later if I don't listen. Oh, Kyrie! Kyrie? Kyrie. Is that the priest? When I press the play button, I hear a familiar voice. Oh, I think that is him. This priest shows no mercy as he gets right to the point. Liar. Someone like you would be able to arrange a substitute in no time. Yay! Finally! Servant! Let's find out what, he, what she gets. The message ends there. His words are concise. He's telling me that if I'm to fight, I should get ready by today. And if I'm not going to fight, I'm an eyesore and should just retire quickly. So because Kyrie was in the last one, does he get to participate in this one too? Or is he just kind of like training Rin to be the next master. Well, it can't be helped. Today is as late as the deadline can be extended. Fortunately, I was able to decode Father's will last night. My preparations are ready. All that remains is, yes, obtaining the qualification to enter this fight. <laughs> She's like, time for exposition to tell you what the Holy Grail is and what the Holy Grail War is. The Magi who participate in the Holy Grail War are called Masters. This is not so much a rank, rather it indicates one who is in control. The requirement to enter the Holy Grail War. You know what, I'm, I'm happy to get a refresher on this because like I said, it has been a while. I'm very, uh, like, fuzzy on a lot of aspects. That is, to summon a familiar called a servant, and to form a contract with it. No matter how great uh, a, ma a magus, magus a person is, one is not considered a master until he has a servant under him. Servants are beings very different from normal familiars. The methods of summoning and controlling them are different as well. A magus planning to enter the Holy Grail War usually prepares a catalyst to summon one, but... <laughs> Everybody wants Saber, huh? She's like, she's OP. I don't have anything with any connection. I can summon a servant. If I wanted to, I could summon one right now and form a contract with it. 
The town's sacred ground is under our jurisdiction. As the daughter of the Otosaka family, which has protected this town through the generations, I will not lose to magi from elsewhere. But, that said, I guess you can't go out to sea without a compass. Or perhaps I should say things are completely unplanned. In other words, a sword, armor, talisman, bone of that servant, or something like that. Something valuable beyond belief. I'm trying to remember which one he had. Initially, the father had Gilgamesh, and then, uh, then he was killed, and then uh, Kyrie got Gilgamesh instead, right? I believe that's how it went. The pendant I found last night in the basement is one of the best artifacts in its class. It's great in its own way. It's great, but it won't help me to summon my servant. <laughs> Oh. So she's gonna get Saber? I wonder if she she's gonna try and get Saber, but then there was that random guy who got Saber at the very beginning. Or was that from like a different timeline? Because they said something like 10 years ago or something like uh, I don't know, we'll find out. All right, I've decided. I don't want to make Kyrie complain anymore by postponing it any longer. It's not like me to wait until the last second. It'll come down to just trying it. I'll face the summoning tonight with full power and obtain Saber by force. Maybe she'll try and then realize she's already been taken by someone else. Late at night. The clock is about to strike, too. This is the best time frame for my magical energy. The peak of my magical energy is at exactly two in the morning. Since this will be my first and last chance, I can't afford any mistakes. I engraved the circle onto the floor of the basement. You don't need a large-scale summoning to summon the servant. Servants are called forth by the Holy Grail, as the Master's priority is to keep the servant in this world and to supply them with enough magical energy to substi uh, substantiate. The Holy Grail takes care of the summoning. Sony, Yin to Tetsu. Still, I continue with the greatest concentration. I draw the magic circle, normally written in blood, with my melted jewels. I'm using half the jewels I saved up, so I can't fail for financial reasons, too. It's almost two in the morning. Completing the magic circle passed down through the Tosaka family, I face it with all my power. Alpha. I flip the formal switch inside me. I feel a sensation as if the contents of my body are being exchanged. The usual nerves invert into circuits transmitting magical energy. From this point, Tosaka Rin is not human. I shall become a tool to attain mystic power. I am melting from my fingertips. No, I'm being filled from my fingertips. The mana I'm taking in is so concentrated that the original senses of my body are being repainted. So being filled is, is the same as being destroyed. The power that fills me is pure magical energy from the air. It's absorbed by my body, which has become a circuit and transformed into a different form of magical energy. The body of a magus is nothing more than a circuit. A circuit to connect the spiritual and the real. 
We call the result of this the many mystic occurrences it has made real magic. My body is burning hot, an illusion of myself growing horns, an illusion of wings growing out of my back, an illusion of scales forming on my hands, a sensation of being in water. I start to sweat, stab, stab. Sores are driven into my body. This is the pain caused by my human body rejecting itself as the magic circuit. No matter how great a, a, a magus you are, no matter how great a magus you are, a human is a human. This pain will result as long as people use magic in human body. But I do not loosen my circulation. At the end of this pain, on the verge of elimination, lies the place of connection. A pain running through my left arm. The magic crest starts up on its own to help me, and as a result violates my nerves even more. The harvested mana in my blood. If that's burning iron, then the magic crest itself is like a nerve made of thorns. It runs through my body like a centipede with fangs. <laughs> I lose myself within that pain. Oh, the whole thing about the centipede just makes me think of like one of my favorite guys who I'm so sad that I don't remember his name, but he was like the guy who just aged a ton. Um, who had like the bugs, who could summon bugs. And at the same time, I feel I've reached my goal. My overly sensitive hearing keeps recognizing the sound of the clock in the living room. Ten more seconds until two in the morning. The power within me is perfect and flawless. <laughs> Let's start. I take the man I've absorbed and turn it into fixed magical energy. And now, I have only to empty out the mana within me to move the engine called the Summoning Circle. My vision closes. The fifth element said to be unperceivable by human eyes is before me, so in fear of being broken by it, vision shuts itself down. Perfect. It's so perfect, I feel like I'm tugging on a whale with a fishing rod. Jeez, I can't wait for my vision to return. My vision should recover in a matter of seconds, and there would be the summoned servant right from me. What if she got caster? Uh, I would be... I'd, I'd laugh so hard. <laughs> Nothing. Hi? Oh, it's like, it's almost like pulling a deck of cards like a Pokemon and be like, come on, let me get, let me get the best one. Let me get like the foil card. Let me get the, the shiny. Nothing is nothing. There's no change. I've raged out that much at uh, ether and nothing is formed. And on top of that, I hear an explosion from the living room. I run. I keep running without thinking. I run up the basement stairs and into the living room. The living room door is crooked. There's no point in turning the handle. The door doesn't open even as I push and pull it. With a crash, I kick through the door into the living room. And the instant I walk into the living room, I understand everything. That is... Is that... Gilgamesh? The living room is a big mess. It's full of rubble that must have fallen from the ceiling. And there's one man sitting on it cockily. Without a doubt, that is the cause of this mess. But there's one thing more important than that. The wall clock is still ticking away time, having escaped destruction. That reminds me. Yes, that's right. Come to think of it, every clock in my house was an hour early today for some reason. In other words, it's one in the morning right now. Oh, there's actually one more hour until my magical energy is at its peak. 
I can do most things just like everyone else, but I have one hereditary curse. That is, to make the biggest mistakes at the most important times. It's like... It's like when we forget to set our clocks for daylight savings time and everything gets messed up, but just... Uh, so much worse. <laughs> I'm mad at my own stupidity. Still irritated, I glare at the man sitting there like he's important. <laughs> oh no. Well, this is gonna be quite the, uh... Interesting combination of characters. The man in red gives an exaggerated shrug. Maybe in the most unlucky of all, he adds. I do declare, this guy has a twisted personality. But this would be the servant? Since they call it a familiar, I thought it was something shapeless, but this is human-like. No, that's wrong. Just standing here, I can tell this thing has outrageous amounts of magical energy. I was like, this is Gilgamesh, he was one of the strongest ones, right? Like, he was very powerful. Don't be fooled by its appearance. This certainly is an existence far beyond human. A ghost that has reached the level of spirits as a human. I can't be overwhelmed forever. That thing is mine. So I'll have to change my thinking from now on. そう、状況がつかめない。私だって初めてよ。そういう質問は却下するわ。そうか。だが、私が召喚された時に君は目の前にいなかった。これはどういうことなのか説明してくれ。本気日などりじゃあるまいし、目を開けた時にしかある
あなたが私に呼ばれたサーバントならあなたのマスターは私以外に誰がいるっていうのよ I somehow cool my boiling head and glare at this rude guy そうかまあ仮の話なんだがとりあえずそうだとしようそれで君が私のマスターである証はどこにある The serpent talks nonsense, grinning. He must think I'll panic about this proof of master thing. Coco, yo. Anata no master de Rakaste, for a desho? Hm. I show him the command spell in the back of my right hand. Heh, <laughs> don't think I don't know anything. My father talked a lot about masters, so I know about the command spell. Natokuita? Kore de Mumada Monko, you know? I thrust before him the proof that I am a master. The servant in the rubble looks confused, then. <sighs> His face clouds with discontent. そんな形だけのものでマスターブルとはな私が見たかったのは君が忠誠を振るうにふさわしい人物かどうかだったのだがあっ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ何よ私の召喚者は君のようだ。信じがたいが、君は本当に私のマスターらしいな。He gives an exaggerated shrug of his shoulders. I just want to know, I just want to confirm that I'm correct about if he's the same from the show. If I'm right about that, or if he's a completely different character. This is bad. My boiling point is so low, it seems I won't be able to cool down in time. またくもった不満だが、認めよう。とりあえず君は私のマスターだ。だが、私にも条件がある。私は今後、君の言い分には従わない。戦闘方針は私が決めるし、君はそれに従って行動する。これが最大の情報だ。それで構わないな、お嬢さん。そう。不満だけど認めるくせに、私の意見には取り合わないってどういうことかしら。あなたは私のサーバントなんでしょう。I ask him in a trembling voice, just in case. There's the issue of the command spell too, so this is my last warning, the biggest compromise I can make. And to that. ああ形の上だけはな。故に、形式上は君に従ってやる。だが、戦うのは私自身だ。君はこの家の地下にでも隠れて、聖杯戦争が終わるまでじっとしていればいい。それなら、未熟な君でも、命だけは助かるだろう。He tells me he has no hope for me with eyes full of disdain. <笑>、うん、怒ったのかいや、もちろん君の立場は尊重するよ。私は、マスターを勝利させるために呼ばれたものだからな。私の勝利は君のものだし、戦いで得たものはすべて君にくれてやる。それなら文句はなかろう。<笑>どうせ君にレイジは使えまい。まあ、後のことは私に任せて、君は自分の身の安全を。<笑> oh, she gonna use the command spell on him immediately? Because that's right, the command spell is like. I think you can only use it a certain number of times, and like they have to listen to you when you use it. There's no holding back now. I have no sympathy for a twisted guy like him. This, this is bad. She's already wasting command spells. I know yes, we are breaking. I announced to the I announced to the command spell by the order of the Holy Grail, give the law of obedience to this one, my servant. 
そんなことでレイジを使うやつがうるさいいいあんたは私のサーバントなら私の言い分には絶対服従ってもんでしょな何だと The symbol on my right hand throbs. The three command spells, the essence of the Holy Grail War, the three claims to the servant's unconditional obedience is now used. Huh, it's too late now. First of all, I wasn't expecting this either. I hate myself so much I want to die. To go ahead and use the important command spell for something like this? Can she. I can't remember what the command spell is. Can she just. Do, you, do like a genu- like a general thing? Like, he will listen to me at all times from now on. Like, that seems a little bit OP if, like, you just say that at the beginning. Uh, I feel like with the command spell, it has to be a very specific command you have to give. It can't just be, like, an overarching thing. Like, you will listen to me at all times. So, leaving the ruined living room behind, we move to my room. In front of me is the servant who should be absolutely obedient for my command spell. Okay, apparently she can do that. He's there, but... なるほど。君の性質は大体理解したぞ、マスター。How exactly is this absolutely obedient? 念のため尋ねるが、君は、レイジュがどれほど重要か理解しているのか、マスター知。知ってるわよ。サーバントをリスル三回きりの命令権でしょ。それが何よ。<笑>いいかね。レイジはサーバントを強制的に行動させるものだそれは行動を止めるだけでなく行動を強化させるという意味でもある例えば私はここから遠くの場所まで瞬間的には移動できないだがレイジで行けと命じればそれが私と君の魔力で届くことならば可能となる強制命令権とはそういうことだサーバント自身でも制御できない肉体の限界さえ突破させる大魔術の結晶が3つの霊獣なのだ知ってるわよそんなこといいじゃないまだ2つあるんだしあなたに命じた規則は無駄じゃないんだし And、uh, from the show was there a thing like if you kill somebody who has command spells like still That you can,、uh, you can obtain their command spell, so you could technically have more than three. I may be mistaken about that, but I thought like a character did that. Where like they thought he used up their command spells, but then they took it from somebody else. Huh. <sighs> レイジの力が弱くなる効き目は長く続くが苦痛が小さいため逆らえるサーバントも出てくるだろう okay, I'm glad that they're explaining that. 逆に次の一撃を死ぬ気で放てあのグラスだけは壊すなといった単一の命令は絶対でよほど強力なサーバントでも逆らうのは難しくなるさてここまでで私が言いたいことがわかるなマスターわかるわよ。要するに、広く長い命令は意味がないんでしょ効果も戒めも薄いなら、サーバントはレイジュに逆らって行動できる。そんな効き目の薄い命令をするなら、絶対的な単一の命令をした方がいい。そうだ。レイジュとはもともと、自分たちの能力以上の奇跡を起こすためのもの。それを。大王の聞く命令などで消費する具は許されない君の先ほどの霊獣はまさにそれだ私が君に従うかは話し合いで解決できたことだし仮に霊獣を使ったところで全ての言動に絶対服従など霊獣が100あっても実現できない I don't know He says this but I'm like、uh, based on the conversation that they were having just about the whole like servant master thing When he says, like, we could have achieved that through discussion, I was like, highly unlikely, or it would have taken forever for you to finally come around and be like, okay, I guess I'll, like, respect you and listen to you. <laughs> so she had. The Holy, Holy Grail War hasn't even started yet, and she's already at a disadvantage. 
通常ならそうなのだがなどうも君の魔術師としての性能は桁が違ったらしい Is he happy or unhappy? The servant has a smile on his face as he sighs. Get a got you what that the Moskaste Jotanata Jibunga ima donna jotanaka. Shojiki ni hanaste mina sai. I have a gut feeling, so I ask him boldly. Ah, go some to you know a soda. Sakyo no mele dewa. Scotia master no ikem was son to show to you tato no cocoro in Shika Naranai. Daga. 今の私は君の言葉に強い強制を感じている。Okay. 君の意見に異を唱えると。So it seems like he has to acknowledge she's actually quite powerful. ランクが一つばかり落ちるようだ。つまり、マスターの意向に逆らうと、体が重くなって動きそう。So in a way, it may not have been wasted after all because she's, she proved her strength to him. The serpent shrugs his shoulders as if to say it's a pain. That means the command spell wasn't meaningless and it worked in my favor. But this guy speaks as sarcastically as always, and it doesn't seem like he's any weaker at all. Though, even if he is weakened when going against me, I doubt even ten of me could take him on. Zengen o tekai shio, Master. Nende wa wakai ga. Kimi wa takuetsu shita majutsu shida. Kodomo to anadori, tatakai kara tozaki o to shita no wa watashi no ayamachi datta. Bure tomo domo ayamaro. He adjusts his stance and bows his head politely. あ、ちょ、やめてよ。確かにいろいろ言い合ったけど、そんなの喧嘩両せばいっていうか。そうか。いや、話のわかるマスターで助かった。なんか切り返し早いわね、あんた。何？ご三は五三だったが、嬉し
などうせアーチャーでは派手さに欠けるだろうよアーチャーオーケーいいだろう後で今の暴言を悔やませてやるアーチャーはアーチャーですでもギルガメッシュ聞かないからなはい This is unexpected. The unknown servant seems disappointed by my fixation on Saber. Nani? Kani Sawata, Acha? Sawata. Meteo. Kanaraz Zibunga Kon that to Omoishira said the other. Archer protests with narrow eyes. The air he carries is offensive, but his behavior seems childlike and pure. You know, he might be a pretty good guy. Sonne. Sureja Kanaraz Wata Shokai Sasete, Acha. そうなったら素直に謝らせてもらうからああ忘れるなよマスター己が召喚したものがどれほどのものか知って感謝するがいいもっともその時になって謝られてもこちらの気は晴れんだろうかなアーチャーグリンズ again はあ、maybe he does have a twisted personality after all it's funny how like of all of the casters casters oh my god servants Um, his is the only one that I remembered his actual name before his servant name. I don't know why that one sticks with me. Archer doesn't answer. I know what it is. His sarcastic tone disappears and he frowns seriously. Is he like upset she doesn't know who he is? Archer? <laughs> It's funny because, like I said, wasn't her father had him initially? So I guess this family is just destined to call on this specific servant. Huh? Does he not know who he is? Don't, don't tell me he has amnesia or something. That face again. Archer must be really troubled as he opens his mouth like he'd rather not say anything. Oh, here we go. Wait, what was that? なんよそれ。あんた私のことバカにしてるわけ。マスターを侮辱するつもりはない。ただ、これは君の不完全な召喚の付けだぞ。どうも記憶に混乱が見られる。自分が何者であるかわかるのだが、名前や素性がどうも
アーチャスワロウズ<笑> <laughs> he groans for a few seconds, clenching the broom. The servant in the red coat, Archer, closes his eyes in dismay. He acknowledges my request gracefully. Well, it's getting late, so I should rest for tonight. I can decide about how to treat him after I wake up. The day of fate comes to a close. No, this night is the start of fate. There are six, including myself now. Once the last one summons a servant, the seventh one who is not yet a master, this holy grail war will commence. It's not far ahead. The battle I've waited ten years for is about to commence. All right, everybody, that will be part one of Fate Stay Night. I'm really liking it so far. I like Rin. I like the return of the old character, so so far it's just been Archer slash Gilgamesh. Um, but it'll be fun to see the other ones back again. And I really like the... I really like the uh, kind of relationship already between the two of them, where it's just like a force partnership, um, where he is like hesitantly acknowledging that she is strong, but there's still like a little bit of back and forth between them, a little bit of like bickering. I think that's quite fun. So... I'm I'm excited to see now, like they said, the Holy War is about to begin. Only one master has yet to be selected. I wonder if that is the guy that was at the beginning with Saber. Maybe we're going to switch over to his perspective, the, the uh, other master's perspective with Saber. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I like it so far. It's really fun to get back into the world of fate. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed part one. Uh, let me know what you think down below. And I uh, hope to catch you next week for part two. Until then, bye. Special shoutouts to my top tier patrons Emily Hornsby, Lady of Eternity, Revealing Storm, Asborn Kennedy, Jared Fan, Harry Gaziff, Icognito, and Zoran Ether.